here. I'm here to do another book haul. I realized that I accidentally never posted my March book haul, but this book haul is going to be a bit big. Um, because we've been in quarantine and I normally go to conventions this time of year, I really have been buying a lot of books just because I know I won't be going to a convention till October or next year. So I've been kind of like buying a bunch also because I can't go physically shopping like and my library's closed um I have books out from the library but they're not the books that like are coming out because the library's been closed for two months but let's get into the book haul it's going to be a little bit longer than normal so get a snack if you would like uh the first book I picked up was The Royal We by Heather Cooks and Jessica Morgan um my friend Tiffany highly recommended this book um, and it's loosely inspired by pr by Prince William and Princess Kate. Um, but I know the sequel's coming out, and I am doing a little bit of a contemporary reading-a-thon for myself in June and July and August, so this one will be one of those that I'm going to try to read. Um, but yeah, this is the first one that I wound up picking up. Also, in that order, I also wound up picking up um, Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. I actually did have an arc of this from ALA, but in the child moving back and forth, I think it got lost. Um, but this is their newest release. It follows, like, a HGTV couple that's on, like, a book tour, but the couple hate each other. And I think their assistants wind up, like, falling in love, I think. But it sounds cute, so, and it's really, really short. And I know that Haley from book, book, Bookland really liked this one, so I'm probably going to add this one to that summer list as well. Um, I also wound up picking up Moment of Truth by Casey West. Um, this is her newest book. It's, it's, it's like the companion book to Love, Life, Love, the, 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 um, that series, and then Fame Fading the First, because this is the third one in that series, and this one follows Hadley, um, but yeah. I don't know much about it, but I know that he Heather from Bookables liked it. I really like that little, um, contemporary series. I know some people struggled with book two, but I actually wound up really liking it, so hopefully I like this one as well. I always love books that have, like, actors and movies movie stars in it because I think that they're super fun. I also want to picking up um, Time of Our Lives by an M M M Emily Weberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. This is the same author duo that wrote Always Never Yours and If I'm Being Honest. This is not a Shakespeare retelling um, but I think it follows two kids as they're making up their minds about what they're going to do for their next year. I think it's in dual point of view. At least I think it is. Yeah, it is. I normally like books like that. Um, I thoroughly like the first two, and I know that they are coming out with another Shakespeare one soon, but I hope to like this one because I really do like their writing style. Um, in the past two months, I got a couple books from Owlcrate. One was Bone Crier Moons by Kath Boone Purdy. I love this cover. And also Kingdom of Black by Mary Lou. Um, I have fallen really, really far behind on my Owlcrate books, but hopefully I'll get to read them soon. But yeah, but these are two that I wound up picking up that I wanted to just show you guys in this video. Um, and then this is a small order I did from Book Depository. I picked up Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. I finished The Assassin Apprentice and enjoyed it. So I figured I would get the second one. Now this is one that I don't know if it's out in America yet, but Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jacksons, which is the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I know I had just read this book, so when I saw it pop up in my Goodreads and it wasn't out in America, I went to Book Depository and got it. This one follows the same character, but she's in the she's starting like a true crime podcast, which I normally love. So th I thought, thought that this would be like a fun summer read. I don't know when it's coming out in America, but when I saw it was on Book Depository, I picked it up and was really happy that it was actually the correct book that I got. I also wound up picking up um, part two of The Way of Kings. My friend got me part one, and I honestly will probably read this more than I'll read the big massive paperback. So I'm going to pick up this one as well. Um, and I also wound up picking up um, Sarah Mass, um, House of Bird and Blood, Crescent City. This book is over 900 pages. So I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading it or if I'm going to get the audiobook, but I know it has werewolves. So we will see. And another book I picked up from um, Book Depository was um, Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I am in the middle of a um, middle grade readathon, and I thoroughly loved um, the first one, so I wound up picking up this one. This cover is so pretty. And the last book I got from, like, my random ordering 
was House of Dragons by Jessica Kloos. Um, this one is the one book I really wanted um, from ALA, but I never wound up getting it. Um, but I like that it has, it, it's literally the emperor is dead. These are, these five people are called to try to figure out who's going to get, become emperor. You have a liar, a soldier, a servant, a thief, and a murderer. Let the battle begin. So these are all like the random orders that I did. Um, now I'm going to show you the Shadowhunter books that I picked up and my book outlet order. When quarantine started, I went up doing a re my goal was to finish the entire Dark Artifices series and to catch up so I can read Chain of Gold. I'm happy to report I can finally start Chain of Gold. But I did pick up a physical copy of Ghost of the Shadow Market, which I didn't actually wind up physically reading this book. But I do love this book because it does have beautiful illustrations in it. And one day I would like to have a Shadow um, Hunter shelf. I also want to pick up Queen of Air and Darkness um, by Kiss Cassie Clare, which is the third book in that series. And then most recently, I wound up picking up Chain of Gold, The Last Hours. This one's actually signed to me by Cassie Clare. Um, and I'm actually going to start this in early May. But I did wind up finishing this and Lord of Shadows, which was really exciting. So I'm actually happy that I actually went, made a progress. This is one of the massive series I wanted to complete in 2020. And happy that I finished it relatively early. So that's good news. Now I'm going to show you guys my book outlet order relationship with book outlet what I do is like every couple of days I go on there and I like put a bunch of books in and then I kind of like take them out so that's like a two, three month process and then at the end of three or four months I always make it order but my order changes so dramatically but because I knew I wasn't going to a book convention and I just want some more books I wound up making an unexpected book outlet order. So let's get into it. Um, I am going to be doing a reading challenge for myself to tackle a bunch of contemporary reads. You'll see those videos in early May, or no, early June, so keep a nose out. But I did wind up picking up um, Fireworks by Katie Catugno. I this one follows like a girl band, I think. And I actually had this book on one of my like e-books, but it's not on kindle on those sites i love that we get them but like they're so hard to keep track of so i wound up picking up a copy of this and this will be part of one of those challenges for myself um i also wound up picking up a copy of kingdom of ash by, by rihanna thompson i think i also did get the sequel in this box um but this is a sleeping beauty retelling and the major reason i picked up this series is because i read um once upon a dream which is the Sleeping Beauty Twisted Tale, and I really liked it. So I would have wanted some more. I know I have Spindlefire on my shelf, but that was kind of what motivated me to pick up that book. Um, I also wound up picking up um, Unwanted um, Islands of Silence, and this is book two to um, the Unwanted series. And this is book two, and I'm actually I'm actually gonna read book one I think for my readathon. So I wanted the second one on hand, and this is another long term middle grade series that I hope to start this month. Um, and I also wound up picking up Unwanted Quest: Dragon Captive. This is book one, so this is like the sequel series. Um, but I just wanted to have it on hand in case I get through those books quickly. picking up Girl at the Grave by Tara Bar Barry Black and I do have her most recent book which is a 1930s murder mystery and I don't know what this book is about at all but it is from Tour Teen and I figured if I like that one I might pick up this one sooner rather than later. Um, oh and I also wound up picking up the sequel to Spindlefire which is Winter Glass by Alexi Hillier. This is another Sleeping Beauty retelling. This is another one that I heard about from um, Bookables, and this is a, uh, um, I think it's a short story anthology all about food, and it is, it has a couple of, like, a it has a bunch of stories by, like, um, it has one by Sanaya Manan, one by Rhea Chupra, one by Rebecca Roanhorse, one by... Um, Sarah Ferris, and Lily Macklemore, and this is just a bunch of short stories, and I heard that it's really, really good, so I wound up picking up that one, so. Um, 
And I also wound up picking up Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse. This is another historical fiction book that I've been trying, wanted to read. I do have a couple books by Monica Hesse, but this is one that, again, um, Helium Bookland recommended. And I did wind up getting 99 Days by Katie Catugno. Um, this is, I think this is the, the prequel to another book that I got, but this is 99 Days. And I also wound up picking up Nine Days and Nine Nights, which is the sequel to this. So they don't like match at all, but that's totally okay. And the last book I wound up picking up was A Wicked Thing by Rihanna Thompson, which is the first book to Kingdom of Ashes. So yeah, that is my mini book outlet order. Um, I hope that you guys like this video. I apologize that I won't be having a massive BEA haul for you guys. I know that you guys really, really like those, but I'm trying to give you guys some more content this month just because I know that I normally post a lot of videos um, in May. So I'm going to, I mean, in June, so I'm going to try to give you guys a little bit more content. But let me know what book you're most excited to see me review or what are some of your favorite books that you have that you've read in this tackle, in this bunch of books. Um, and I will talk to you guys for my next video. Bye.